guys welcome back to the channel so on today's video we are going to go over how to use up some scraps so we've been doing a lot of paper scraps and we've been going over um like how to use scraps of paper in today's video i'm going to go over scraps of fabric so um it's going to be the same concept as your paper scraps you're going to be doing um clusters or collaging or anything like that you can do snippet rolls and stuff like that um i've got uh some little scraps of um the pad that i used for my mini journals in the shop right now well i think they're still in the shop Anyway, um, I've got some scraps here for that, but I also have some paper or some fabric scraps as well. So uh, I'm going to grab my scissors that I do not have handy. I mean, I have a pair of scissors right beside me, but I prefer the little ones that aren't going to break my hands when I use them. And apparently I'm not going to get those. So green ones it is one more look yep i got nothing okay so anyway um it's fine it's just i can't use them too too often or too long um as i'm still looking around for my little orange scissors i don't know what happened to them they disappeared so I'm just going to cut this little guy out real quick because I think I want to use him. But this is a great kit, actually, uh, this forest collection from Stamperia. I really, really like this kit because it's neutral. It's not, um, it's not overly feminine. It's not overly masculine. It's just there, you know? Um, which I personally like a lot. So I'm actually going to sew around all of these, but uh, I'm going to wait until my sewing machine gets here because I have a new sewing machine coming because I got finally got mad at my other one. Uh, and I need to like move all of these little tabby do thingies because they are all over the place. Ow. And they're in the way of my paper clips is the big thing, which I need my paper clips because I don't really want to staple this one. Uh, you could staple it, but I also don't have any of my tiny attacher. Well, I don't have a tiny attacher. I have a Heidi swap. Um, that's pretty. I like that one. Uh, I actually have a Heidi swap stapler and um, I couldn't find any staples to go with it. Mm. So I had to go and get the tiny attacher staple staples and those will be here eventually. I have no idea when, but eventually. But see, all I'm doing is I am just making some clusters of, um, this is some lightweight upholstery fabric that I've got and just some regular cotton fabric. You can use pretty much anything. You have a larger piece. That's what I did. Um, I had a larger piece and then I just cut it down into manageable pieces. Uh, this one I think started out as like a 13 by 13 and I just cut it very haphazardly into manageable ish squares. And just kind of move stuff around until you get it to where you think it might look good. And I'm just going to pin it all together. And after, you know, after a while, just go over to your sewing machine and 
sew around the little paper pieces. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you could just glue it together. No big deal. You could also slow stitch it with just, you know, a needle and thread. You do it like that. Like if you're watching your favorite show on Netflix or whatnot. Actually, that's probably what I'm going to do tonight is I, I've i been in this office for about four or five days straight. And I think I am going to take a day off and I'm going to just kind of chillax and watch some TV because I have not watched TV in, oh my gosh, in a month or two or six. It's been a minute. But what I'm going to do is absolutely nothing. That's what I'm going to do. And you can actually put something like this on even on a larger piece. Like if you have um, a piece like that, well, that might be a little too big because this card might not be big enough. That's what I'm saying. But you could put it on a larger piece even yet, you know. That actually doesn't look bad at all. And then there's something else that um, I wanted to show you guys. Um, Miss Gail had done it in a video and she reminded me and I was like, oh yeah, that is such a great idea. So basically what you do is you take a scrap paper. Let's do... Let's do this one. This one might be okay. And I'm going to glue because I'm going to... Yes. I don't know what that is. Um, so... You just kind of push down your little pieces here. And then that might be too big. Uh, that might be too big too. Um, there we go. Let's do a smaller piece like that. And then you can grab a couple of these guys. Okay, there, and there. And let's see, I'm going to do one of the bigger pieces here. Let's see, this kind of fussy cutting I can do. I can manage this. This is pretty easy fussy cutting. Not too fiddly, as they like to say. <laughs> it's such a cute word. I love that word. Fiddly. Okay. 
and then like that. So basically you just go back in and you put glue. And I'm not going to put a whole bunch of glue because I'm still going to sew around these. So it's not going to be like too, too much there. All right. And this is just turbo tacky glue. I'm basically trying to use up all of the glues that I have like I'm working on it. <laughs> so then you just go through and you cut or rip each portion and there you go. Now you've got four little clusters. Now obviously you could change this. You could use decorative scissors. Um, let's see what have I got. What's this one? Ah, that works. All right. And then Oi, not the fabric. And there you go. So, ooh, there we go, like so. So you could definitely use your decorative scissors. I mean, you can get a lot done with just the little decorative scissors. Um, but yeah, so there is um, some clusters that you can do with, you know, by just laying out a scrap piece of paper. Let's do another one. And adding some fabric to it. So... Let's go here, and here, and here, and here. All right, and then we'll do that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Okay, and then. Do those guys. And that one. And that one. Just like so. And again, put your dot of glue there. And it's kind of the same concept as your glue books, is you don't really think about it. You just kind of put down your scraps and I mean, if you have like a certain style of aesthetics, then I mean, all your scraps are going to kind of go together anyway, you know? So, There's one. Nope, hold that. Put that one there. That one's probably too big. That one. There. Wow. All right, boop. That one there, that's too big. Well, maybe. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> Let's try that. Yep, I like that one better. So then we just glue these guys straight down. 
And it's really quite as simple as that. Because like I said, I'm going to be sewing around all of these little paper pieces anyway. So I don't need like a ton of glue. But you could also just put, you know, like use Fabri-Tac or something. And voila. There you go. There's that one. There you go. There's that one. And there's that one. And again, you've got a bunch of what I really like about these is it's a combination of paper and fabric clusters. And you could even go even further. You could add buttons or brads or eyelets or really whatever you want to them. And um, you can just go from there. But that's all it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to add some. I'm going to take these to the sew machine. Well, when my sew machine gets here, <laughs> it's not here yet. And then I'll sew around these paper pieces. But you could also take these pieces here and you could put them on uh, larger fab or larger, you know, paper. <laughs> My brain stopped working. Like I did with this one. Like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So that's it. Um, like I said, I hope you guys really find a way to use up your scraps. I really am enjoying using up the scraps, uh, paper, fabric, you know, whatever. Um, because we really do, you want to try to utilize as much as you can. You don't really want to throw things away or waste it just to have to go out and buy more because, well, you don't have any more. So anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to use up some of your scraps. And don't forget, you can combine paper with fabric. No harm in doing that. And it actually adds a lot of texture to your projects. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.